Our question this week is, where do you find peace in your daily life? And how does one achieve that? I gave you a little bit of homework in our last video. So let me continue to share more tips with you today. Take the time to do the following every morning or evening. Meditate on His Word. Seek His face by reading your Bible. Reflect on Bible verses about rest and peace, such as 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 6 and 7 in the Amplified Bible. It says, Therefore, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God. Set aside self-righteous pride, so that He may exalt you to a place of honor in His service at the appropriate time, casting all your cares, all your anxieties, all your worries, and all your concerns once and for all on Him, for He cares about you with deepest affection and watches over you very carefully. Are you able to be at peace during the storms of life? Are you at peace with God as well as with yourself? Are you giving yourself fully over to Yahweh, our God? His will and His plans for your life are all that matter. Obeying Him completely is the key to enjoying His peace fully, no matter what happens around you in the world. God's peace cannot be purchased and cannot be obtained without turning yourself entirely over to Him. Once we have His peace within us, then we can have His peace collectively, unified under Jesus Christ. As it states in Ephesians chapter 2, verses 17 to 22 in the Amplified Bible, And He came and preached the good news of peace to you, Gentiles, who were far away, and peace to those Jews who were near. For it is through Him that we both have a direct way of approach in one spirit to the Father. So then you are no longer strangers and aliens, outsiders without rights of citizenship, but you are fellow citizens with the saints, God's people, and are members of God's household having been built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets with Christ Jesus himself as the chief cornerstone, in whom the whole structure is joined together and it continues to increase, growing into a holy temple in the Lord, a sanctuary dedicated, set apart, and sacred to the presence of the Lord. In Him, and in fellowship with one another, you also are being built together into a dwelling place of God in the Spirit. It starts within each one of us. As we cannot pour out His peace into others around us unless we're first filled with it ourselves. We can't share what we don't already have. Jesus said He gave us His peace. In John chapter 14, verse 27 in the Amplified Bible, it is written, Peace I live with you, my perfect peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Do not let your heart be troubled, nor let it be afraid. Let my perfect peace calm you in every circumstance and give you courage and strength for every challenge. I crave for the peace that God gives me. I find that spending time with Him and His Word every single day is so healing. There's nothing else like it. I crave it, and it's really challenging to step away from that deep, comforting peace to get the things He asks me to do. I much prefer to dwell in His holy presence. It takes a bit of practice, but in time, you too will be able to feel what I'm talking about. 
Use our Bible study journal to write down the things that God is bringing to your attention during your prayer time. Dwell in His words to increase your level of holy peace. Now, what is He putting on your heart about increasing your own level of peace? Meditate on His words of advice while coloring and drawing in your journal. We are to seek Him and His peace every single day. We are to refuse to live without it, despite the pressures of the world. It is urgently important for all of us to turn to Yahweh our God, to learn about the truth and the way we should go. Becoming stronger in your knowledge of God's Word will help you develop wisdom and a discerning mind to help you navigate what's coming ahead in the world. I'm so thankful for the truth of His Word. Listen to His voice and guidance every day. May God bless you abundantly in accordance to His will for your life. I will see you next week. I want to thank you for watching our YouTube channel as well as taking the time to seek a closer relationship with Yahweh God. I would like to invite you to consider purchasing a copy of our 52-week Bible study journal called Reflecting on God's Word. I believe that this book is an excellent tool to help you deepen your relationship with our Father and in focusing on Him, it will transform your life as it has for us. You can scan our QR code to reach our website's Bible Study Journal collection, where you'll find it available in English, French, and Spanish. Thank you so much for your support to our ministry and for being part of spreading the Word of God around the world.